welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. We have a great show for you today. We'll be talking about something that is, well, it affects all of us. It's business technology. If you're a business owner, you're watching the Business Spotlight, usually you expect to see tips, tools, techniques for helping you grow your business, build your business, and today it'll be a bit of both with some security added in. When we talk about business technology, Cognoscape is a leader. They have been uh, somebody that I have seen, watched, and watched grow in the last few years, uh, and it's been really fun. So I've got the president and founder uh, today with Charles Tholen, mm -hmm. Michael St. Martin, you're the COO. I want to know how you guys created Cognoscape, even like how'd you come up with that name? <laughs> Well, the name actually stands for Thought Landscape, and we're trying to take the best things out of traditional computer infrastructure, cloud computing, and open source with enterprise level process to bring um, a level of IT service management to small and medium businesses that would normally not be affordable. Excellent. And Michael? Well, it's been really fun. It's been great. It's a, a five-year ride that we've had so far. Um, and really interesting to bring technology or to transform somebody's technology that we work with and really give them a roadmap um, to utilize their technology, become better at their business, and they can service their clients better. And that's the real key. If our clients serve their clients better, then that's really our goal as a company. That's excellent. One of the things when I look at business technology, I have seen it change tremendously. And you know, you guys are we're all about the same age, so we've literally seen it go from a membrane keyboard to, oh my gosh, right? How do you guys even keep up and how do you make sure that your clients are able to keep up with the technology that's that's happening all the time? Well, the rate of change is actually the fastest I've seen it in you know, the 23 years I've worked in technology. Right. Um, what we do with our clients is try to get them on a roadmap for aligning their technology and their use of technology to enhance their business. Excellent. Michael? Yeah, it's, it's really critical that they keep up with technology and they change. You know, we of, often talk about when you're, if you have to buy technology or or begin to utilize technology in an emergency, it's very expensive. So if we set a roadmap and we look forward at the new things that are coming out, like the security on mobile devices as an example. Mobile devices are great for productivity, but are they secure if they're connected to your business network? Well, so we want to look at the newest technologies out there and let our clients understand that there's pros and cons and how fast and how far should we go compared to what the budget is, what the business cycles are, and those types of things. Well, and the other thing that you guys do that, I mean, a, a large portion of your um, clientele are in the legal field. And you work with very large firms that in, in helping them stay current and stay secure, which I know that's your background, Charles, mm -hmm. right, is uh, security in a big way. Oh, yes. I spent, you know, the bulk of my career working in uh, information security, working with Fortune 100 companies. Exactly. So. How secure are, uh, I guess I should say, what do you find is the biggest weakness that you run into when you start um, trying to work with somebody? Well, a lot of it is is just thinking that the uh, traditional things that everybody thought was all that was needed, you know, the, the firewall, the antivirus, and anti-spam, that that's enough. Right. Um, you know, I like to use an analogy of, how you protect things in your home. You know, for a long time people thought just locking the windows and locking the doors was good enough. Now, you know, most everybody I talk to has a burglar alarm that's monitored. And so the same thing happens with the technologies used to protect, you know, your the, the goods within your company. You know, important data, client information, credit card numbers, personal health information, and so on. Um, you know, just relying on something they bought you know, three years ago, that it's good enough still, that, that's where people mainly go wrong. I'm curious, are, you know, with all of the, the security things that we've been hearing lately from Russia, you know, hackers taking 
identities and things like that. Are they going after the business community or are they going after the individuals or is it both? Um, both. I mean, they, they cast a wide net and they find where they can get in and how they can get in. And then they basically start to document what they found there. And if they find some value for it immediately, they'll use it or they'll come back later when they see some sort of value. Obviously getting direct personal account information to go set up new credit cards and things like that, that's something they can easily get and actually sell on the market. There's a you know, whole industry uh, around these, getting these pieces of information. Small businesses <coughs> are at a, at a huge risk for this. Uh, you look at Targets and Home Depot and those big incidents, they have huge PR budgets. They've worked on their brand for 100 years. Uh, they can absorb hits like this, even though they actually took, you know, paid a pretty heavy price. Uh, a small business isn't prepared for that. You know, I totally agree. And what's amazing to me is how, uh, how painful it can be, even uh, if you have a security breach, that you could be at, uh, penalized in a big way, thousands of dollars for letting it out. This is the business spotlight. We're talking about business technology today and how it affects, well, you and a bit of security to keep you safe. We'll be right back.